Good morning, loves. So, I thought I'd do a vlog. God, I sound husky today. Freshly tanned because it is so sunny outside and it's the 1st of March and I just wanted to feel all tanned and ready for spring, even though I'm bloody freezing. I think the last time I vlogged, let me check on my YouTube, I think it was about a year ago, 11 months ago. So it's been a long time, but we've not had much to vlog about, have we? Cause all I've been doing is sitting around on my ass in my joggers and working. This is a little bit more exciting because I've got some new spring things in that I wanna show you this week, some new home bits, some DIY. So yeah, a bit of everything that I'd just vlog this week and see how we get on. But yeah, today might not be that interesting. I don't really have a plan for today. I've just been answering some emails that I need to finish off this morning. Um, chase up a few outstanding things for work and yeah just a bit of an admin day on a Monday settle me in for the week so yeah just having a cuppa and cracking on with emails oh these are so cute let me show you these so my friend Lorna got me these as a housewarming present and they're just a dream how cute are they they're from a brand called the happy blooms and they're all dried flowers they do some gorgeous bouquets if you're really into color they do some like really really colorful ones anyway i'm gonna shut up and crack on with the day i've just looked back on the other video and i've noticed you can see everything on my oh hello it's all right you can come in so my tan has gone in like every spot crevice that i've got um, and all on my neck, so apologies for looking an absolute state, but you know, this is this is real life guys, it's fine. I'll wash it off later and it'll look hopefully good. This is the new Saint-Tropez Ashley Graham foam tan, mousse tan, sorry, and it smells, oh, a dream, so nice. Anyway, I'm actually going now. This is another little DIY I did at the weekend. So this gorgeous little shell was originally like this rust color, which is really nice, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't really go in our home. Our home is a lot more neutral. I've just noticed it really much in my nails, which need doing by the way. I just thought I'd go for like more of a neutral and it's this um, B&Q Good Home Furniture Silky Smooth Paint. So this is self-priming. And I applied two coats. I don't think this was that expensive. It was like three, four pound for this little tub. I've got loads left. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to paint like a few things in the same shade. So it all kind of like goes together. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how that's turned out. It's dead cute. I don't really know where it's going to go yet. But I can pop some flowers in there, which is really nice. And then I'll show you my coffee table now. But there she is in the hallway. I'm so chuffed with it, really chuffed. And then I'm just gonna show you the coffee table that I upcycled. So if you remember in the old place, this was gold and I've just painted it black just to add a little bit of a black accent in here because it is very cream. And we've got like black on the cushions and on the books and stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd add a little bit more in here. So this is actually a really gorgeous um, paint. I don't know if you can see on there. It's kind of like matte, but it is classed as like a satin furniture paint. I'll link it below. So if you guys want to upcycle anything of yours, you can. And also these arrived this last week. They are just the cutest little clouds and they mm. smell incredible. Um, so this is a store called Naked Flame and I'll link their Instagram below and I just love them they're the cutest I'm obsessed with candles at the minute um that needs to go so we got that from Ikea and I was going to upcycle it put some um rattan in here and paint it black but it's just far too big gonna go here for our bigger telly but it's just too big so I'm gonna have to sell that and then our new sofa's coming next week thank goodness because this is just like sinking now we do need a new one we've had it for a good couple years and our mirror came i am so chuffed with this mirror so this is from dunelm and it was 55 pounds because i've wanted the ikea one for ages and it was 45 pounds so it's a lot cheaper but it's just been sold out for so long in the black and i really wanted the black um rim on it but it's really slim and I really like that. And it's, um, we've just drilled two holes either side and it's got hooks, so we've hooked it in. So I'm dead chuffed that's up. We just need to sort out this now because we really don't like this. 
and we need to change that lamp look how long it is yeah not nice so i'm gonna get something probably like black or gold to go up there it's looking cute in here it's coming together slowly just need to get rid of a few things and then we'll be good to go and then i'm gonna get some prints there as well but i'm so chuffed with that also this is from ikea i was getting so annoyed so i built it myself and if you look it looks so bonky at the top but it's because the back isn't level so i was spending all my time like taking these doors out and putting them back on like why is it not level but i just need to put something at the back of here just to level it out but i changed the door handles to this like brass just to make it look a little bit more expensive and um, because the ones that came were like a pewter metal and i think it just goes with like the golder accents in here and the last diy that i have is this lamp so you might have seen at the old place i bought two of these and in the move we sadly lost one of these because it broke so i thought how can i kind of upcycle it make it a little bit different because we don't really need to this looks lovely in here and this is just so gorgeous so i decided to paint it use our old lampshade from the other place and made this so completely different so i used the same paint um that i used on the coffee table to paint the base and the stem and then the lampshade is actually from larry Doot, and i use that for the main bit because it's too small to go like in here or anywhere so i thought it's perfect for desk lamp really for lee's desk so yeah completely different i absolutely love i love both obviously but i just didn't need two of those and i'm actually quite proud of myself for that so yeah the only issue i had was this bit here was a little bit wobbly so i've just popped some cable tape around it just so it actually fits um and yeah i'm well chuffed with it so that's my last diy for this week i think i need a break now i've done quite a bit but yeah it's fun i hope you like it let me know what you think and obviously i'll link both lamps below anyway um and i'll link that lampshade so this is our newest edition of furniture and we absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. I've just dressed the table just to show you guys the kind of style that I'm going for. I've ordered like a natural linen runner to go down the middle. And these are from, these are quite old, these plates. These are from Asda. And these are from Sostrine Green. I need to get two more, um, but I love them. I love the kind of like a regular shape it has. It's just so pretty. So I've got this kind of like rustic natural theme going on, but the table itself is just a dream and everything we wanted. So we got this custom made by my friend's dad, who is an absolute genius. Like he builds kitchens, he builds beds, everything. And we sent him some inspiration and we really liked the idea of having like these kind of bowed legs. So these ones, so the main table kind of goes out and then the bench goes in. So I just love the look of them. So this is a black steel that is used and then this is poplar wood. So this is wood from France. Um, he sources the best wood and it's got the most gorgeous knots in it. So we've got one there um, and then we've got one at like the heart of the table. I just thought I'd style it and show you guys like what it's gonna look like eventually because I'm working here at the moment I'm gonna eventually put the bench on this side so then when people come round they can like lean on the wall or get some cushions and then on this side we're gonna get two chairs so I've not decided on the ones I want yet so I'll keep you updated on that but yeah absolutely love it it's the perfect size and it's just something we're gonna have forever and the rug is from Ikea. So this is £80, which is not bad. It's like the natural jute style rug. And it just fits so well in here. I love the kind of natural vibe we've got going on. And the contrast of the black legs. I'm going to then get some black candlesticks and pop them there. And then we're probably going to put a piece of art there that I'm going to make. Because I can't find any artworks that I love that's going to fill that space. So I thought I'm going to make my own. So that can be another vlog, that should be fun. But yeah, our newest edition and it's so special, especially because my friend's dad made it. It just makes it so much more special. He actually made this as well. 
So we've had this for years. I love this piece. Um, it's not staying here. We've just popped it there for now. But yeah, beautiful dark wood um, bookcase. He doesn't have Instagram, so I can't link his Instagram. He's old school, but I'll link his website below and you can check him out. But now, something fun we're going to do. We're going to go to the tip. We've got so much cardboard and we don't have a cardboard bin yet. So yeah, we're going to take all that now. Hello. We're off to the tip. We've literally got, literally got a car full of cardboard, haven't we? We've got so much stuff. So we're going to go to the tip and then we need to go to Screw Fix um, to get some cables for Lee. Trunking. 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 Not cables, trunking. I have no idea. So yeah, it's a lovely day. It's nice to get out of the house actually. So yes, we will see you at the tip. I actually loved going to the tip with my dad when I was younger, did you? It was like yeah. a little day out, wasn't it? Also, this is so cute. So we're using my dad's old car and it's that old. It's got a cassette player and he's put some cassettes in for us in a little bag. Look at this. So I think we've got ABBA in there at the minute. And then we've got the Beatles, my faves. Do you reckon there's people watching this who are younger and they've never seen these before? What, tapes? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that sunshine. Blooming beautiful. Hello. So I'm back from the tip now. I feel cleansed. I always feel cleansed when I go to the tip or to the recycling point because I've got rid of everything that was just around. And I've come back to some deliveries. So I ordered some bits from Zara Home. Oh, they're a dream. I had a sneaky peek because I wanted to make sure everything was intact because it was glass and ceramics. Um, so I'm going to show you now. But I keep breaking glasses. So I've ordered more. Which probably isn't the wisest idea, but I saw these online and I fell in love with them. They're so beautiful. These are similar to the Ikea ones that I had at the start of the video, but they're just so much nicer. I think these were $4.99 or $5.99. Um, and they're just beautiful. So I got two. One for me and Lee. How gorgeous are they? I love like the square handle and everything. They're a lot deeper as well. They're so light, so I need to be super careful with this. But yeah, I love them. Aren't they pretty? So gorgeous. So that is another addition to the kitchen. We brought out some gorgeous vases and like ornaments. And I fell in love with this one because it looks so rustic and a lot of my vases are very like flat and this has a lot of texture in it so I wanted some texture for when we put the shelves up and this one is blooming beautiful how gorgeous is that I look at that so beaute absolutely love it I love that it looks old so this was $17.99 I just think it looks so expensive um, I love the texture and the cracked kind of porcelain ceramic in there. So yeah, you can get this in a small or large size. I think this is actually the smaller one. I'm glad I went for this size because it is um, a decent size to go on my shelf. So yeah, that's cute. A very random purchase. Because it gets so dusty in here and in the kitchen and the hoover that we've got is crap, I wanted like just a dustpan and brush that's gonna be easy to use. So I got this one from Zara and it's actually so pretty. Like proper rustic style. Uh, I've just, just broken it. I don't know how the hell I've managed that. I think I need to twist it in. Anyway, it's got this like handle that comes off and you've got the brush. Oh my God, they're so soft as well, them bristles. So yeah, I just thought that's easier because the dustpan and brush that I've got at the minute, I'm just like constantly bending down and it's hurting my back. So this one's a longer one and I like the wood and the matte black. You know what? I'm all about the aesthetics of the house. So yeah, it looks cute. So that's my little Zara order. I can't actually wait to get this up on the shelf because it's so pretty. More cardboard. I'm gonna have to go back to the skip tomorrow because I've got more. just had another exciting delivery. These two are a PR product and I've been wanting to try this brand for ages. 
since I saw Rosie Huntington Whiteley use it and she, I think she's like the face of the brand. So it's called Rosare. I think that's how you pronounce it. And these are antibacterial face flannels and towels. So the packaging is just so stunning. Like everything about it, like the font, the box. So here it says, Unlike standard bathroom towels, your Rosare towel doesn't breed or harbour bacteria and odours, so you can spend less time washing your towel and more time enjoying your laundry-free day. And great to clean skin. It also means you're helping contribute to reducing the amount of water waste and detergents that can have a harmful effect on the environment. So you don't have to wash these as often. Oh my god, they're so soft. towels so soft you don't have to wash them as often as you would your normal towels so yeah i don't want to open them because i want to take pictures first but everything about the packaging is biodegradable as well using recyclable materials so i absolutely love everything this brand is about how beautiful is the packaging honestly guys these are so soft we got here so this is the face washer just look at it oh such a dream so that's the face set I think. Yeah. And then we've got the actual body towel here. Oh, so it says here, so it's antibacterial, hypoallergenic, anti-aging, and uses botanical blends. So it's really, really good for your skin and the environment, which is what we want, isn't it? So they sound perfect. Honestly, that is so soft. So, so soft. Branding as well on there. You've got the little R there. Beautiful. I'll let you know how I get on with these. I just love fresh towels, like little things like that in life. I just bloody love. You only go to a spa and you get like fresh, soft towels. This is what it reminds me of, but these are good for the environment and you don't have to wash them as often, which is fab. So yeah, that's my little delivery haul of what's come today. Anyway, I'm gonna tidy up now because Lee has been doing a bit of DIY and it's got a bit dusty. So I'll probably end Monday there because it's been a very random day. I've not had a ton of work to do so I've just been replying to emails and stuff and kind of getting on with house bits but tomorrow is a busier day. I've got a design day so when I've got a break between that I'll probably show you my ASOS bits and yeah we'll go from there. I'll see you tomorrow. Just had to show you how gorgeous the light is in here at the moment. I cannot wait for summer. It's going to be a dream. Good morning guys. I hope you're all well. I'm looking a little bit more glam this morning. I just filmed my hair tutorial actually because I'm using a new wand and some new products so I thought it needed a bit of an update. I think the last one I filmed was about two or three years ago so yeah. The hair's very different now with the balayage so I just thought I'd update it. I didn't film me doing my makeup because I have already got a tutorial on that so I'll link that below if you want to create this look. Design work all done, we didn't have much to do this morning so um, obviously I can't show you guys what I've been working on because it's a client's work and I can't do that. So yeah I've got the rest of the day to kind of do some more jobs. I'm going to show you guys what I got from ASOS, do a little mini ASOS haul including this dress which by the way is a blooming dream. Hi, sorry, camera died, so I've just let you charge for an hour and I had some lunch and these came as well. So I ordered some blue light glasses because I'm always using my laptop all day, every day, whether it's designing or editing. So I needed something to protect my eyes. So I ordered these, they're actually so cute. They're giving me like vintage Deirdre Barlow vibes, but I'm actually here for it, I love them. Yeah, Lee got some as well. And yeah, just to protect the old eyes. I actually really like them. It's mad how much it changes the colour of things. It gives it like a gorgeous, like warm tone. Another exciting delivery arrived. Eek! So I'll give you a bit of a backstory. I've been thinking about buying this for about two years now. When it first came out, I was like, oh my God, I love it. And I've not stopped thinking about it ever since. And I just really, 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 really want it. So I saved up and i thought you know what it's been such a crap year last year and kind of the start of this year by the time it comes to summer i'm going to use the hell out of this it's in this box it's in this box it 
Any guesses? It's a little bag. Oh, even the box is gorgeous. I mean, I'm keeping this forever. Let's unbox it. I won't lie, I've already opened it because I couldn't help myself. I don't know how people actually sit at home with it there and wait to do an unboxing because I don't have that willpower. As soon as it arrived, I was like, <laughs> So yes, here we go, guys. So obviously it comes in a beautiful dust bag. I mean, you can probably guess what it is by the shape. <laughs> Let me just put this down. Sorry, I'm really faffy now, but you I just open the bloody bag, Nina. Here she is. Can't get it out now. I believe it's mine. Oh, you don't understand my love for this bag. Have you ever seen a more me bag? Like, especially in the summer, this is all I'm gonna be using. I'm so happy. I love her. I like the fact that you can take these straps off and wear them different ways as well. So I'll show you, you can um, undo this and take that out. And you can actually put it into that one and have it that way as well. So you can have the two straps like that. I like this, but I'd probably wear it the traditional way. I went for the medium size. The small was just a little bit too small. I think it was, um, I would say like, knock like these two bits off and it's a bit too small. And the large was, the large is great actually, if you are, um, probably if you do live abroad, if you're going to the beach a lot, because that is um, a really decent size off for of picnics. But I just thought this size on my arm is like perfect. Love her. Okay, mini haul time. So I've got the majority from ASOS and then one piece from Under the Stories. So I just wanted to buy some transitional spring bits because I'm so over autumn winter now. I just want to start getting like the softer pieces in. So I'm going to start with, oh, actually I'm going to start with this. I mentioned before that I got this from ASOS and it's in like a gorgeous modal viscose blend. It's super soft. It looks quite sheer, but if you wear nude underwear, you're absolutely fine. Like I'll show you it on. I'm wearing nude underwear and you can't see through it. So it's perfect if you just get some nude. Um, white does show through, you can kind of see my bra. So um, definitely stick to nude if you want to wear this out, but it's perfect for, you know, when we can go to the beach, a gorgeous cover up because the back is actually elasticated and then the front is like a flat front and it's just so comfy. So I got this in a size eight, which is probably true to size. I probably could have got away with a six, but I quite like that it's a little bit, a little bit baggy, a little bit floaty. Next up is this super gorgeous knit. How beautiful is this? So it's like quite a crop style in this beautiful beige oatmeal color and it's really, really soft. It's a great transitional piece because it is realistically still quite cold in Manchester, even though I am dressed for summer, it's quite warm in the house. So when I'm going out and about, this is a great throw on with your blue jeans, white jeans, black jeans. It's just a gorgeous color that's gonna go with so many of your transitional pieces and it'll take you really nicely into spring. I love the detail on that. I love the large oversized buttons at the center front and yeah it's just such a dreamy neutral color i don't have i don't really have anything like this in my um current wardrobe so i wanted to get this kind of like preppy style um jumper and next i wanted the set of this so it's a knit dress and it comes with a cardigan and it's so gorgeous but the cardi is sold out but i feel like these knit cardi combos are going to be a big trend for spring knit dresses anyway and this kind of like fine stretchy knit is going to be huge so i got it in this gorgeous chocolate brown because i think brown is such a lovely color to wear in summer anyway so it takes you right out of the autumn winter into the spring summer really nice and easy so yeah this is a gorgeous maxi dress it is so comfy i'll show you it on i have actually put some of those stick on bras on because it, you can see nipples through it quite easily on here so i've just stuck a um like a stick on bra if you're worried about that because you can't really wear a bra with it because it is quite low back and it just doesn't really it'll just ruin the look it is just such a gorgeous throw on again could be like for the beach you know in the colder evenings i'm saying the beach as if we are gonna get away we are we all are even for like going picnics and stuff when the weather's nicer if you get the little cardi to go with it it's, it'll be such a gorgeous combo i'll link both i'm hoping the cardi's back in stock and then i can buy it myself and you guys can get your hands on it as well 
Okay, next is a piece which is a spring staple for me. I bloody love them. The Trench. But look at the back of this one. How blooming gorgeous. So it's got this beautiful kind of, I think it's like a poly cotton um, check on the back. And this is great because in Manchester it rains so much. And when I wear like light coloured coats, the splash back from my trainers always goes on the back. And if something like this is on the back, it's so much easier to clean. This is such a great piece for me. And it's in a gorgeous brushed cotton as well. It's beautiful. So I got this in a size eight because it is quite oversized. I'll try it on here so you can see the contrast buttons and everything. I mean, the color is perfect. It's such a classic and it looks so much more expensive than it is. It is just so beautiful. So I'll definitely be getting my wear out of that. This spring, I've actually been wearing it quite a lot already anyway, and it's just great for like the colder days where you can put a knit underneath or if it's warmer, like we went out at the weekend, I just had like eye turtleneck and my jeans and wore that and I was warm enough. Next, now I hated these in the noughties because my dad used to wear them with socks and I used to take the mick out of him. But if he's watching this, he's gonna laugh now because they're exactly the same as his. It is the dad sandal. Love them or hate them, I love them now. And you know what, they're so comfy. These are super lightweight. These are one of the more affordable options on ASOS and I love them, I'm not gonna lie. Some of you are probably thinking, what the hell are they? But they look so cool with blue jeans and dresses, like just to give you that kind of like sporty retro look. I really, really like the vibe, so yeah. You're gonna be seeing them, whether you like it or not, on my feed. And they're great for going on holiday when we can, just to go to the beach in. So yeah, super comfy and super affordable. Finally, a pair of shoes that you're gonna love. These are beautiful. I think they're my favorite pair of shoes that I've got in the collection. I think I've got about 50 pairs, but look. How blooming gorgeous are they? And we've got this gorgeous kind of like tubing spaghetti strap style at the front. I just love them. And they're such a versatile piece. They'll go with everything. White dresses, jeans, shorts, skirts, oh, everything. Gorgeous summer staple. So yeah, I'll link those below. They are and other stories and I'll link the other colour as well. Okay guys, so it is, what time is it now? I think it's like five o'clock. So I'm probably gonna stop the vlog here today. Um, me and Leah are actually having a little date night tonight, which will be cute. So I might vlog what we've got um, because we've got a gorgeous Thai place near us and it's just a dream. The food is fabulous. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. The weather's not meant to be as nice. So um, I'll check my to-do list and see what I've got to do and I'll see you then. Bye. Hi guys. So me and Lee are having a little date night and we were going to get dressed up. And then our bloody boiler broke, didn't it? Yep. Hence Cold. why we're in the knitwear. He's got his hat on. But we've got our tie and we've got our wine. So we're going to have a good night, aren't we? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, yeah, just thought I'd update you. Um, I'm going to turn off now until tomorrow because we're going to have a nice evening together. And yeah, might see you tomorrow hungover. guys happy wednesday so lee had a delivery yesterday and it's actually so compact and smart and it really folds up nice and easily so i thought i'd get into the routine of doing a bit of morning exercise every morning so we've got like the resistant bands on there as well and i just love cycling so hence why we got a little cycle bike i'm gonna do that this morning and then crack on That felt good, but I'm knackered. I've just done 20 minutes for now because I've not been on a bike since the gym. So yeah, that tired me out. But yeah, I feel great. I'm also listening to um, Rhonda Byrne on The Happy Place with Fern Cotton and it's amazing. I've got like 40 minutes left as well. It's a long one. So um, if you loved The Secret, I would highly recommend it. She's just amazing. I think that's just helped as well, like working out and then listening to her wise words of wisdom. But yeah, anyway, I stink. I'm going to go for a shower. Oh, I feel so much better after that. So 
today's agenda, I've got to do some editing. Um, I need to shoot some product shots and yeah, just a nice little editing day really. Not a lot's going to happen today. Um, I've actually decided to split this vlog into two because I think at the minute we're already on like 30 minutes and you don't want to listen to me rambling on for an hour, really. No one needs that. It's going to be just like a Monday to Wednesday vlog because I feel like a lot has happened at the start of this week and then not a lot is going to happen kind of like next, the next few days. I don't know, who knows? I thought I'd update you on the boiler situation. So yesterday at like five o'clock, actually when I turned, literally just turned off from talking to you guys, I was like, it's blooming freezing. Like, you know, I was in that sheer dress all day and I was warm. Um, and then I was like, why is it so cold? Checked the radiators and they were stone cold. I was like, that's so weird. Anyway, there was like an error message on the boiler. And Lee had been faffing with the radiators because he was trying to let all the air out because I think there was too much air in them. And it turns out that like triggered the pressure in the boiler and meh, boring. He managed to fix it. So we didn't have to get a person to fix the boiler out, thank God. So it's nice and warm again. But yeah, we literally spent like the evening at the dining table eating our Chinese in like layers. <laughs> not Chinese, uh, Thai in like layers. So yeah, it was actually really cute though. We had a nice time. I only had a glass of wine, so I didn't, I wasn't hung over. I wouldn't be getting on that if I was. Anyway, I'm gonna edit and I might show you some behind the scenes of how I shoot as well in the sunshine, just because it's been so long since I've been behind the camera. I love shooting product shots and stuff. So yeah, that's fun.